Hello YouTube, Tech Intimidation here again today. Today we're going to talk about setting up Gmail to be your default email handler when you click on an email address in your browser. So by default, sometimes when you click on an email address such as this one right here, which is my email address, tech.intimidation at gmail.com, sometimes when you click on it, it's going to do something other than what you want, which is opening another email program such as Mail on a Mac or Outlook maybe, or Thunderbird. Maybe you want it to open to Thunderbird, but if you don't, what you need to do if you want it to open Gmail instead, you go to your Gmail account and if you look up in the address bar and you go all the way to the right hand side, over here there's this little diamond shaped thing. It's telling me that this page wants to install a service handler. If you click on it, the question is allow mail.google.com to open all email links. And what I want to do is click allow, hit done. And now that should allow Gmail to be the default handler for email. So if I go back and click on this email address now, what happens is it opens my Gmail account, creates a new message, and it's all set for me to send out an email. It's that simple. So this also can work in other instances, such as your calendar on Gmail, okay? Over on the right hand side, again, you'll see a little diamond shaped symbol. Click it. Would you like to allow google.com to open all web calendar links? Yes, I would. Just click allow and click done. And boom, you're set up. Now, whenever you click a calendar link, such as this one right here, this is a calendar link. It opens it in your calendar. Nice, simple, right? So if you ever want to change this, if you want to go back to the old way, what you need to do is over on the right hand side, go to settings in Chrome and scroll down to show advanced settings. And then under privacy, go to content settings and scroll down to handlers and manage handlers. Right now you can see what we just made the two changes we made were the mail to handler, which is for email, it's set to use Gmail, and for web calendar, calendar events, it's set to use Google, which is your Google Calendar. If you wanted to, you could turn those off or just remove them and go back to using iCal or Mail or Outlook or whatever you wanted to use if it was something else. And that is it. That's the tip for today. Thanks for watching.